Good afternoon and welcome back. I have created a small journal to take on a trip that I'm going to be going on in April. It's a tulip cruise and while I was making my seasons journal I was running into all of these spring items that included pictures of crocuses and uh, daffodils and tulips and thought well while I've got all of this available to me I might as well go ahead and make my travel journal even though my trip's not till April. Uh, this is uh, also leather bound like the previous journal and this was my first uh, attempt on a good book. I had practiced on a not so good book uh, for my embossing and it's a little simpler pattern than I ended up putting on the seasons journal which I actually finished before this journal <clears throat> and I was going to save this one and, and video it later in the year and just decided nah I'll go ahead because I'll forget. So this is the end paper for this one. And as you can see, I entitled it the Tulip Cruise. And the main difference between this journal and the last journal is, is that it's all themed around spring and flowers because that's what I'm going to do on this trip is go and take a lot of photographs of flowers. And I hope to be able to use those flowers <coughs> in my digital collage later on. Uh, once again, it also used the uh, graphics uh, fairy blank paper uh, that is colored and things done to it just for fun. Uh, the faux stitching, faux uh, washi tape, it's all digitally applied. But it's, uh, it's a writer's journal and, you know, I can also glue in some photos uh, later. And plenty of writing space. Uh, I've never really been to Amsterdam before or that whole area of Europe. Uh, been further south and further west, further east. <laughs> I just kind of missed the middle there, so... This will be a fun trip, a relaxing two-week river cruise. So I'll have my own floating hotel and then lots of excursions to take in all of the flowers and scenery. Someone asked me, why do you do the digital collage and not just take a blank journal? with white pages. And I explained that white pages to me were like a white canvas. Some people get real intimidated with a white canvas and they just can't bring themselves to ever putting paint to it. Well, I have a hard time writing on blank white pages. Um, so when it's already kind of decorated, I feel like I my writing and little hand, hand scratch uh, kind of drawings that I do sometimes are more appropriate when there's something prettier to look at uh, on the background. Plus, I, you know, some of it'll, the little sayings or the uh, little images on there will prompt me to write about certain things that I might not have thought of if they hadn't been there. As big as this book is, I think I'm going to have to do more than one cruise to fill it up. And there's the end. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that and um, maybe get inspired to do a little digital collage for yourself if you want to do a tighter binding uh, than we usually use in our junk journals. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.